Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Ink and Inspirations. Thanks for joining me. We are on part two of our Filled with Love bundle uh, Valentine card and envelope for kids. Yesterday we made a little card uh, using the Filled with Love stamp set. Uh, in this bundle, uh, that's the promotion right now. You get 12 sheets of this designer series paper, three each of these four different papers, the stamp set, and a free pack of bitty buttons. And we're going to use one of these today on a little envelope. I'm going to show you how to make. Okay, so yesterday when I made this little round card, I showed you how I punched it with the um, a two and a half inch circle punch, but I told you you could also make a three by three card, cut your paper three by six, fold it in half, and it would work the same way. Um, I also showed you a little one of our little mini envelopes that I stamped and could be used as the envelope for the card. But today I'm going to show you this uh, how to create this little envelope that's using the designer series paper and the um, little. Uh, bitty button. So here I have a sheet of the designer series paper cut at four and a half by five and I am going to score it on the short end. Let me turn this around at three quarters inch from each side and I'm using my Fiskars trimmer and the cutting blade. Okay three quarters inch from each side. I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing, same measurement, three quarters inch from the end. Then I'm going to turn it and score at two and a half and four and a quarter. Okay, put that aside, and I'm going to fold on these scoring lines, and we're going to do some cutting and rounding of corners. So I'm going to use my corner rounder punch and go ahead and round off these top two corners right here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is use my paper snips and I'm going to cut off this, these on this score line cut up to that middle score line there and just cut that piece off. And again on this side. Okay. Fold in. And I'm going to round these corners. Okay, and that's going to fold in like that. And then that score line is going to fold down like that. And to put this together, I'm going to use sticky strip. If I can find the end of it, there you go. And really for this, um, you might could use snail. Um, and it holds just fine, but I'm going to use sticky strip to keep it um, good and snug because um, once you get this made and you get the Valentine card inside, there's also room for like a little chocolate square like Giardelli chocolate or one of those Hershey's miniatures would be real cute. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to peel off the sticky strip. 
the red line off of there. And um, back to the sticky strip versus snail. Um, it would be, it's going to make it a little heavier if you put candy in there. Okay. And see this, I'll show you how that's going to fit real cute. See, and if you put the name of the recipient there, I thought that would be cute. All right, now we need to add our bitty button. And I'm going to use, where did I put them? Here they are. Just pick one of these cute little things out. I'm going to use a little flower bloom. And then I'm going to use one of our mini glue dots, and I'm going to adhere it to the bottom of one of these petals. Okay. And then I'm going to position it where the glue dot is on this, this base of the envelope, and the top of it just kind of holds this little flap down real cute. Okay? And so, there you go. Real cute little envelope. Uh, real, real cute to pass out for your kids. Fun to make with them. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the Filled with Love bundle is um, the promotion ends on January 24th. So be sure you take advantage of that if you want to to um, use the, make this project. Also, I'd like to tell you that my online class, How Sweet It Is, makes three really cute projects using the Filled with Love bundle. I hope you check out, that out on my blog, www.inkandinspirations.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.